All right, guys, scary story Sunday. Hey, 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 it's time. No intro. We going right into it, young boy. Get your snacks, your hot Cheetos, your gummy worms, your juicy fruit. Get all the snacks. It's about to get really scary. But before that, I got this camo PlayStation 4. I think it's kind of dope. And if you want a chance to win, be sure to slice that like button. I'll give you a second. Tell me the scariest moment of your life. Since it's Spooky Scary Sunday, y'all already know what time it is. I asked you guys to send me some scary stories uh, via Twitter. I'm gonna give you a second to follow me, of course. <laughs> da, 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 da. Okay, using the hashtag Spooky Scary Sunday. If you know of any scary videos, go to Twitter right now. I'll wait a second again. Leave some scary stories for next week. <laughs> The first video is from Twitter follower Kiana. Kiana, thank you for following me on Twitter and following directions of using the hashtag Spooky Scary Sunday. You know what, just to encourage more of you to follow me, I'ma just, just shout y'all out. Kiana, how you doing? Huh? Huh, Kiana? I got three, over three million people, three million samurai, but right now, Kiana, it's just me and you. This is called Creep Tunes by our good friends over at Crypt TV. No thanks. What the heck? Crip, y'all make animated stuff? Yo. All right, little dog. Yeah, it's freaking messed up, like everyone else here. But uh, oh, that dog's like, ooh. Let me get it. Uh, you don't even have a mouth, sir. You can't eat that. You don't even have a mouth. <laughs> uh. He's like, uh, never mind. I'll find something else. Uh, you're being watched. Ew. Ew. Are you going to, you're going to kill an animal? You're really going to kill a dog? Yeah, FBI. That man there. FBI, open up! Thank you for that, but you literally decapitated a man. You, you gotta, uh... What the freak is she watching? Hey, Howard. I found a kitty. Can we keep him? I used to carry corn to town in a bushel. They would make plump chickens. We would pluck their feathers and bathe in their blood. What am I watching? Thanks, Howard. <laughs> this is my room. Kiana, what have you sent us? Here's some food. <laughs> you were hungry. You just had cat food on deck? You could stay here forever and live here and we could be friends. Was that? Oh my gosh. What the freak? But hold up. What are those marks on her wall? Are those like other cats that she's gone through or something? Maybe I'm just thinking pessimistic. <laughs> The next video is from Kimar, Kmar, not Kmart. Chill out, y'all. It's good with you, Kimar. Uh, thank you for sending in a uh, video. You know, y'all three million of y'all stand aside. It's me and Kimar right now. What's good with you, my fellow? The story is uh, he didn't say he had a name. 
I'm just gonna call it number 10. Sarah! A girl heard her mom yell her name from downstairs. So she got up and started to head down. Sarah! As she got to the stairs, her mom pulled her into her room and said, What? I heard it too. What? Oh, Hanks! No! Bro, 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 bro. My eyes are about to start watering. Imagine you're in your room and then you hear your mom call you. You see her at the end of the hallway, but then your mom pulls you into a room and is like, I heard it too. <laughs> Yo, my eyes. My eyes are watering. Run it back, run it back. A girl heard her mom yell her name from downstairs. So she got up and started to head down. As she got to the stairs, her mom pulled her into her room and said, I heard it too. What the freak? Stay. Oh, come on with the buffering! Here and don't make a sound. Push it in! Uh. There you go. Uh. Oh my! Sarah. Sarah. Oh my god! What is that? She just watched her mom get slaughtered in front of her. Don't leave yet! <gasps> yeah, she gone. She gone, <gasps> gone. Oh! <gasps> she dead. <laughs> oh, she smacked it? That's one of the more disturbing ones. Sarah! This next animation is from Dr. Gojira. Hey, how's it going? You having a good day? Hey, your tweet made it onto the episode. Also, I love you. And this is called Henry Eats. It's supposed to be very weird, very disturbing. All right. I got a feeling this is nightmare fuel. Yep. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. And that's where I'm going to stop you there, Chief. Yeah. Dr. Gojira, I don't know what depth of YouTube you had to dive in order to find this, but that, I'm gonna push it back down. Push it back. <laughs> All right, update. Uh, I found out the name of the second story. It was called I Heard It Too because we got Vince Ryan here sending me a check out this two sentence horror story and I'm pretty sure the I heard it too Sarah that story is in here however there should be nine other two sentence horror stories in this video so Vince Ryan I appreciate you man you having a good day yeah 
What? Is she dead? Oh, okay, good. I mean, if she was, it wasn't your fault. You know what I'm saying? You you just got there. Let's uh, let's play. Let's read. Not one. These are two sentence horror stories. That means they're gonna be quick, getting them off like hotcakes. I was having a pleasant dream when what sounded like hammering woke me. After that, I could barely hear the muffled sound of dirt covering the coffin of my own screen. Oh! Number two. Don't buried alive. I woke up to hear knocking on glass. At first, I thought it was the window until I heard it come from the mirror again. Oh my God! Number three. There was a picture in my phone of me sleeping. I live alone. <laughs> Bro, I'm about to start crying. I am about to start crying. Look at my hand. Imagine you wake up and you grab your phone. Oh, let me check Twitter. Check my Insta. You go to your freaking camera roll. There's a picture of you. Like, sleep. Somebody freaking standing over you. Bro, how did this picture get in my phone, dude? Oh, I'm about to start crying. Guys, I told you. When I get creeped out... I live alone, dude. Number four. Oh. My wife woke me up last night to tell me there was an intruder in her house. She was murdered by an intruder two years ago. Number five. Oh, you have a nightmare, my guy. I never go to sleep. But I keep waking up. Oh! Six. What? The last thing I saw was my alarm clock flashing 12.07 before she pushed her long, rotting nails through my chest, her other hand muffling my scream. I sat bolt upright, relieved it was only a dream. But as I saw my alarm clock read 12.06, I heard my closet door. Oh! Shoot, bro. Yo, these are fire. Yo, I'm running. I'm jumping out a window. Oh, my God. He had a nightmare. The last thing he saw was 1207. He then proceeded to get bodied by some witch from Left 4 Dead. He wakes up from the dream, sees the clock say 1205, at which point, if I could commandeer his physical entity, would have proceeded. Ooh, I'm out of the window. I'm doing four somersaults and I'm landing on the front lawn. Naruto running to the police station. You wake up like, what do you do? You just saw your death. You know what's about to happen in 60 seconds. Number seven. That was the most fire word. There's nothing like the laughter of a baby. Unless it's 1 a.m. in your home alone. I begin tucking him into bed, and he tells me, Daddy, check for monsters under my bed. I look underneath for his amusement, and see him, another him, under the bed, staring back at me quivering and whispering, Daddy, there's somebody on my bed. Oh! I always thought my cat had a staring problem. She always seemed fixated on my face. Until one day, when I realized that she was always looking just behind me. Yeah, you're dead. Oh, this is number Sarah. 10. A girl heard her mom yell her name from downstairs. Yeah, we so saw she got this. This. I see why this was number 10. All right, you guys. 
that was another spooky scary Sunday hopefully those videos and animations they don't give you uh you know nightmares of your own if you wake up in the middle of the night and it's 1205 you got two minutes buddy so hopefully you guys enjoy be sure to subscribe around slice that like Corey. button it sounded like Corey. my voice I'll be right back, guys. Hello? Guess my name is Curry Kinchin. Since the ceremony is near its beginning, I wanted to thank you for showing up when you did at such a fortunate and convenient time. Um, let's just uh, down like that. Okay, come over here. Now, you might be wondering what the ceremony is for. It looks to be a cult. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Well, I can assure you, there's no, 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 nothing of the occult going on here. I simply wanted to make something festive for today's Spooky Scary Sunday. This is simply a ritual in order to get you to slice the like button. Is it working yet? <laughs> Seven candles, one for each letter of our creed, our tribe. You know what that is? Samurai. That's who we are. And you still have it slightly like, 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 like that like button. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Maybe by the end of today's Spooky Scary Sunday, you will have changed your mind. Now, before we get started, snacks, ladies and gentlemen. Go get them. The family that used to live here, well, you saw what happened to them last week. I live here now. If you don't know what Spooky Scary Sunday is, you're either new or you're, you just don't freaking listen. In either case, Spooky Scary Sunday is every Sunday. We all come together as a samurai, as a group. We chill out, veg out, eat some snacks, you know, your Funyuns. All right, your Skittles, your Dots, and we watched some scary videos sent in by you guys using the hashtag Spooky Scary Sunday. Follow directions, you get your story pick, you're getting a shout out. With that being said, first story. <laughs> First story of this week comes from Alyssa Sims. Alyssa, I hope I'm saying that right because it kind of looks like Alicia. I'm gonna just say Alyssa. Thank you for sending this in. All the other samurai, move, move, clear out. It's me and Alyssa right now. Alyssa, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Alyssa has brought us a story called There's a Man in the Woods. All right. Animation style is pretty decent. There's a man in the woods. Okay. What a spectacle. Before the story started, this school was still respectable. Bars. My students used to skip down the hill to the honeysuckle, pluck a couple, and collect their nectar till they picked their fill. Except one obnoxious kid, Sid. 
who just watched them eat the flowers while he seethed and scowled cause he couldn't bear to share his sweet treats throughout our recess hour. It's cause it's four I remember big. Sid saying, There's a man in the woods. That's how the rumors began. Oh, he was lying! Of course, Sid had spotted him first. The poor kids. He got him immersed in his spiel about a serial killer whose gun barrel glint hints at peril. A visit oh. to the nurse? Or worse, a hearse waiting just beyond the dale. The children saw him everywhere. Look, over there. That man had Batman ears, we, we swear, and, and crazy yellow eyes. We saw something rusty. His shotgun? It must be. I saw a lady severed thigh. Rusty. What? Every word I heard was absurd. Yet each day, Sid would stray down way past the playground. Who else was brave enough to save us from the killer's next plot? Oh, the rest of the lot would stop back at the blacktop, sure that any closer they were bound to be found deep in the woods, left to rot. I pleaded for the kids to think and learn to be mature, but after a few more rumors doomed my attempts to prove the school was secure, their fear oh, was undeterred, oh, and when the buses drove them all home, the parents finally heard. Oh, no. Everything just blew up. I received a wall of emails and calls full of shrieks, wails, and all from terrified families. Yo, this kid! Terrified families who'd heard word of the murderer and didn't like my lack of action at all. What was I supposed to do? Comb the whole forest? Yeah, right. Would you? That means I didn't care? That's not fair. The stories that worried you weren't true. Of course I would feel regret had there been a real threat and I ignored it. And some poor kid got kidnapped while the kids were napping. But you couldn't admit that your good little kid would formulate a fib so he ignored what I said. Your little angels could oh! never pick up such incredible creations. An overactive imagination maybe, but my kid could never lie. How dare I? Accuse a child of being dishonest? Just monstrous. The parents were displeased, and when the PTA took action, they dismissed me from the classroom. Like <laughs> they knew what was best for their kids. Do you know how difficult it is to get a job when a bitter mom slanders your rep with child neglect from the outset? Now who's in control of your classes? Single file lines? Single file lines? Little vile swine? A killer by the line? Oh! Really? Are you blind? Will you find your spines? Sid, a child decides to fill our minds with lies, and the next thing you see is people treating me like I've committed crimes. I was in my prime! Those oh kids were lying to have me! Do you see what you did? But I can play along. I can be good. Do you hear that, Sid? There's a man in the woods. Oh! <laughs> That was literally like a poetry slam. You know, the other little kid, you know, Sid. Yo, that was parents. Now you see the power of your freaking kid, especially in this day and age. Something like that will definitely pop off. Are you assuming that my kid is lying? Are you insinuating that he's a liar? People get so butt hurt these days. I could definitely see something like that happening. You hear that, Sid? Oh no, oh, no, let me get my. You hear that, Sid? There's a man in the woods. Now the next story is Scary Skinwalker Horror Story animated by Axeman Cartoons. Now, this video was uploaded by Corpse Husband. Uh, everything will be down in the description. Corpse Husband, please don't copy strike me, alright? But Chi Chi, I want to thank you for sending this in. Everybody, you already know the deal. Just move to the side, Chi Chi. Please step forward. Hopefully you're having a fantastic day, Chi Chi. You happen to share the same name as the wife of my most favorite anime protagonist of all time, Goku. So you got that going for you. Scary Skinwalker. You ever heard of Skinwalkers? X-Men Cartoons is a beast, man. Uh-oh. Hello. Oh, man. My family and I live in Arizona, and we occasionally visit our Navajo family in Albuquerque, New Mexico. We left early to get there by noon or less. 
It is a very long and boring trip there. But Go we get there before noon and we have to have a like that. talk with- No. <laughs> no, hold up. Bring that back, young boy. <laughs> Look how my man running. <laughs> get there before noon and we have time to mess around and talk with our extended family. And we, kids, start to play around till the evening starts to show. I love the animation style though, like, I love it. Oh no. The house is too small for everyone to fit and sleep in. Some of the kids have to sleep in the trailer and truck camper, but two of my cousins and I had the amazing luck of sleeping in the old slightly torn tent. Okay. Not very, uh, you know, nice or safe. No, thank you. We are well asleep at this point, and for some unknown reason, I wake up. Of course, I'm still tired and rubbing my eyes while yawning, meaning I wasn't well aware of my surroundings. Once I finish rubbing my eyes, I look straight at the entrance of the tent and see a figure, illuminated by the back porch light, standing in front of the tent. At first, I was scared, but thought it was my other cousins just messing with us. As this person was still standing outside our tent looking at us, I turned to one of my older cousins who was two years older than me to wake him up and tell him that someone was standing outside of our tent. Bro, wake he up! He tries to brush me off, but I persist and he turns to me and asks me what I wanted. I tell him to look at the entrance of the tent, and he does. Yeah, you see I've it? I've never seen someone go from the brink of sleep to sheer panic and alertness in their eyes that fast before. Yeah. He looks at me with this panicked face and tells me to be quiet. He whispers to me that it's a skinwalker and that we need to be quiet again. Skinwalker? We lay there for the longest time and from my memory it was at least an hour or more. We were just about to go back to sleep because it hadn't done anything. Bro, stay back! Then it started to move around the tent. Bro, that thing Naruto running around a tent right now. Woo! Remember when I said this was an old tent? Yeah, it had some holes in it. <laughs> oh, fantastic! And you're probably cold, too. I mean, what if it rains? One of the holes was the size of a quarter, and I decided to be brave. As it continues to walk around the tent a fourth time, I slowly crawl towards the hole and try to take a look. As I did this, my cousin told me to get back to the bed or it'll hurt us. Of course, as a kid, I ignore the warning. Wow. I'm at the quarter size hole and looking out to see whatever it was. It comes around the hole and what I saw was bone chilling. Oh! Oh! What? I bolt back and hide under my sleeping bag while my cousin does the same. This thing decided to stop moving and start looking at us again. I hid under the covers and spent every ounce of energy being scared. Bruh. And then there's one fundamental thing that I'm not understanding here. Right when I first saw that thing, help! I mean, it's like 50 people in the inside. You either gonna take your chance trying to stay quiet and just hope this thing doesn't kill you, or you're gonna at least, if you're gonna go, somebody gonna come out and see that junk and then they could suit it and do what they gotta do. It's just I look at things from a black perspective. You know, when I get, when I'm threatened, I just yell automatically. I hear some, hey, hey, who over there? Hey, you know, that's just me. I'm not like, oh, shoot. Like, it's certain situations for that, all right? And then I finally fell asleep. Oh, okay, so their way worked. Maybe my way would have got me eight. All right. So that thing just was sitting, standing over them all night. I'm never sleeping in a tent again if I'm this guy.
ever. I woke up early, maybe around five, and I decided to look around the tent to see if there was anything there. I see footprints, bare footprints that send shivers throughout my body. I saw the footprints move around the tent. This hit me hard because I was now realizing it wasn't a dream. As I further investigate the footprints, I noticed that it went off track. It went off to the rocky hills nearby where we were staying at. I follow the track to the hills, about a football field away from the house. Why? As I continue to follow the tracks, something strange and scary happens. It goes from two footprints walking for a while to footprints and handprints in the dirt starting to form. I found that kind of strange because no person would do that out here. As I followed the tracks further into the hills, the hands and feet started to get smaller and smaller. It then subtly changed into coyote paw prints. That is when I stopped what? and turned back home, first walking fast, then onto a full-on run. When I got back, I sat down on the back porch for a while and thought about telling my family, but I didn't think that they would believe me. In the end, I didn't tell anyone, even the cousin I woke up in the middle of the night. He's like, we don't talk about what happened. Well, that's my story. I urge you guys to not go into the Navajo reservation to go looking for them. You will bite off more than you can chew. We, my people, take these beings very seriously and do our best to not talk about them. Even though I broke this code, I just thought to warn you guys about them. Whoever is listening are the first people to hear this story. I had a few more stories to tell, but this is by far the scariest one I had. Hey guys, you want a tip to circumvent everything he just said? Don't go camping! This next one's called Midnight Snack, animated short horror film by David Romero, uploaded by Chilling Tales for Dark Nights. Hey, now we talking. Crazy K sent me this one. Crazy K. And yo, Lady Samurai stand up. Where are my guys at? Where y'all ain't sending me nothing? But I digress. Crazy K. Thank you for the story. Midnight snack. Um, I'm sure it's gonna be wonderful, just like you. Midnight snack. I want a snack. I am a snack. What am I talking about? Oh, this animation though. Bro, be grateful that you not homeless. I was thinking about this when we had that polar vortex last week. Here. Hey man, just sleep in there for the night. Put the door back. I would have put that door back. What the freak you talking about? Oh, this is an ent entire apartment complex building, whatever. Oh, I love this animation style. It's got that chowder effect where the texture doesn't move. Uh... All right, we sleeping outside. <laughs> oh, we really sleeping outside. Oh no. Well, I'm about to yeet that doll outside. One of the two. <gasps> this is animated on a paper towel. I'm out. You see homeless people? Give them food. Don't give them money. They're gonna buy crack with it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bruh, ain't no food in there. You know that. Oh, he hungry, hungry. 
Yeah, sometimes you just gotta. What are you doing? Oh, it was a heart beating. <laughs> Yo, where you get on them utensils? And the gas is still on in this place? You could have had that on it be warm. Bro, he just ate a heart. The wall had a heart. He didn't even save it, number two. Another one? Oh my gosh! Woo! Oh no! Give me back my I'm gonna have to poop it out! Oh no, dude! Oh, heck no. It's called Salad Fingers 11, Glass Brother. Sent in by uh, Sad Rainbow Sparkle or Ranny Bow. Either way, don't be sad. All right? You made it on the show. Apparently, Salad Fingers is some creepy guy or whatever. I don't know. Strap in and we gonna learn about this man together. Supported by the Patreoids. All the links will be in the description. Rainbow Sparkle, what did you send me? What is this? Oh, this is one of them weird ones. Well, hello, Mr. Fingers. There you are. I've got a collection of little buggers who've been waiting to see you. <sighs> I thought I told you to get a haircut, Marjorie Stewart Baxter. Excuse me? When you disobey me, <laughs> this is what it comes. Uh, I think we about to cut this one. <laughs> you bunch of freaking weirdos. This is what you will be up to on your spare time, Rainbow Sparkle? My man eating the doll hair off. This is what it comes to. <laughs> oh, I suppose you find this amusing, do you? No! Hubert Cumberdale. Hubert Cumberdale? <laughs> You're What's the best name? behaved, Jeremy Fisher. You, you, you'll be first in the bathtub tonight. It, uh... Oh, don't give me those tears now. They're alive for real? You'll never be a real boy, Hubert Cumberdale. Y'all, y'all really be sending them, huh? I 
think you're about ready to grow up a little. Don't you? What what is that uh grow up? What is that? Oh my gosh. I hope you I hope y'all don't barf watching this. Cause I'm I'm gonna be alright. I'm gonna be alright. What is he craft? What? Is that human skin? Well, who's that little dazzling dream boat? What's your number? Sugar <laughs> cheeks? Thunder thighs? Oh! Ladies and gentlemen. Sugar cheeks. A new, improved, a Hubert Cumberdale. The oh. real boy. What's up with his nipples? Oh! It's alive. I just want to dunk on the rooftops for all 15. I'm fresh and ready for life. No, you are not. Sit down. Oh. I'm a big boy now. Bruh. They grow up so fast, don't they? <laughs> He's already running about and playing with all the other little girls and boys. He stays on all of them. <laughs> I've surely been blessed by, by the soft hand of our great provider. Oh, you're just a glass brother. You wouldn't understand. Uh, you're that? a stupid boy. Y yes, mother. I am a stupid boy. I'm sorry, Mother. Fetch me a bowl of porridge. Yes. Glass, Mother. Porridge? Well, how was she existing in the shadow realm of the mirror? <laughs> Stop it. Hey. He won't let me pass it. He keeps on. What a weak little squirt you are. He keeps on. Stop it. He's doing it. Look at him. Look, look Come on, he's... weakly bones. Pass what? mother the porridge. I think you want her to starve. I'd rather starve than sit here and watch this pathetic display. You'll forever just be a lonely reflection. It's not fair. I I've been in here for too long. I, I, I want to come home now. Those khaki spider fingers aren't going anywhere. Andrew hands. <gasps> what a horrible thing to say. I don't know. I Maybe we shouldn't have started on 11. Maybe that's part of the problem. Don't, don't worry. New, improved Hubert Cumberdale. The real boy. I know of another entrance. Why is Glass Brother so mean, Mr. Fingers? He was raised under the beast's sun. Wait. All right. Morning, wet legs. Thought you'd slip in the back door, did you? Oh. Uh, uh, I'd, I absolutely shan't. Puddle meddling is punishable by a stern rasping. Rasp. Ra 
rasp, rasp. Rasp. Stop, stop rasping. <laughs> you're, you're making me uncomfortable. Don't worry, Mr. Fingers. I'll clean it up. Uh, Where's your eye go? Lad. Who are you talking to? Why, Hubert Cumbertail, of course. Ah. Oh. Hello there, little boy. He's my Morning. real life flesh boy. The most beautiful boy in the world. Jump in! Hurry up! I'm in, boys! I'm in! Stuck him in a jar? Ruthless. Hello. What, what, what brings you here? You know I why I'm here. I don't think you ought to have stolen my little flesh boy. Um, what the? I'm out! Oh my gosh! Oh, sick! Bye! Clean it up! Dude, clean it up so they can't come! You're actually just making it work. Oh! Don't, don't use your fist. What the heck? Again. Look at my man's over there. Slumped. You little sots with a spittle. You dirty little min splinter. Get your ass from my chest. Get your house out of that Letting him have it. I gotta censor that. Y'all are some weird dudes. All right, you guys, that's gonna conclude this week's episode of Spooky Scary Sunday. We definitely had a, a weird, very disturbing array of uh, animations that we perused today. I'm gonna just say, y'all are some weirdos. 
All right, you freaking salad fingers submission. But if you want a chance for your video to be included in next week's episode, go to Twitter, at Corey Kenshin first, all right? Hashtag Spooky Scary Sunday, and then leave a link to your story. Now, before you go, I, uh, I heard of this urban legend, all right? Very serious, very scary, okay? Um, the entire story is, there's a man in the woods. Sarangi. Cause my name is Kari Kinchin. Killed? I I'm in the middle of something. What do you want? Oh, Sunday. Sk spooky, scary Sunday. That's what you want? You want to watch some videos? Well, let me handle this. I'll meet you upstairs. You freaking coppers, man. You're asking questions. Get out of here. It's my house. Mine. <laughs> well, hello. Thank you for joining me on this wonderful Sunday. Oh, this? So it's a little scuffle with the cops. Don't worry about it. Bullet grazed my hand, but that's, that's no problem. More importantly, you might be wondering why the cops were here. Well, you guys know the family that used to live here, right? Before we, you know, took care of them. Yes, we. <laughs> You're an accomplice now. <laughs> well, they haven't been showing up to work. People are asking questions, and the cops were called. The cops came to check on the house and found me. I proceeded to deal with them. Now I'm sure more backup is on the way, but in the meantime, we got some videos to watch. And I get all your snacks that you're gonna need. Your Swedish fish, your Mike and Ikes, your potato chips. And buckle up, it's about to get spooky. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't know what Spooky Scary Sunday is, let me bring you up to speed. Spooky Scary Sunday is a show where you guys send me scary animations and other videos via Twitter using the hashtag Spooky Scary Sunday. You go on Twitter, you at Corey Kenshin, follow me first, hashtag Spooky Scary Sunday, and leave a link to the scariest video you know. And if you make it on the show, you get a shout out. Well, that being said, first video. <laughs> First story is called, I used to work the graveyard shift at Dunkin' Donuts. Yo, this sounds crazy already. You see, they had to change it uh, from Dunkin' Donuts to Dirkin' Donuts. We got this story from Moheed, uh, all the samurai. Take a step to the right, move. It's me and Moheed right now. How you doing, my fellow? Mohid? Moheed? I don't... How you doing? You doing all right? Thanks for sending the story in. I used to work the graveyard shift at a Dunkin' Donuts. For those of you who don't know what a Dunkin' Donuts is, it's basically a donut chain that sells coffee, breakfast items, and of course, donuts. This animation is so good. This brings me to a little over a month ago when our location was recently selected to become 24 hours. A lot of other establishments would maintain a 24 hour drive through window, but ours was fully open. Dang. I'll be honest, it was interesting to see the new types of customers who would come in during these hours. We of course had the hipsters and goths who had nothing better to do at 3 a.m. than to sit in a coffee shop drinking one cup for an hour. What's it look there like? were the occasional overworked businessmen and interns trying desperately to finish that last minute presentation. A couple weeks ago, I had encountered a new type of customer though he is very difficult to describe. Mm -hmm. Have you ever met someone that makes you nervous for some unknown reason? Yeah. Well, at around 2.30 a.m., a man walked in with a large overcoat, with uh, a collar pulled up, and a black beanie on his head. What struck me as odd first was the lack of people in our lobby. 
Normally at this time we'd have the goths huddled in the corner cursing the system or something. But the entire store was empty aside from this man, myself, and my manager who was in the back. Probably sleeping or something. Uh, After hey. this person walked in, I thought it had to be a homeless man. Trying to escape the cold and possibly seek out a hot cup of pity. Homeless man. But then I saw his face. He too well he was dressed. Somewhat gaunt, but cleanly shaven. His eyes had dark circles around them as if he were tired, but he seemed quite energized. He then walked up to the counter. At that moment, I realized how tall this guy was. Dang! Like Kobe tall. <laughs> I asked him what he would like to order. He just stared straight ahead as if he were zoning out. Uh, hello. I repeated my question a bit louder. He only said one word. Coffee. Okay. I got you. The man then leaned down and looked me in the eye and asked me if I was alone. No. No. I told him I wasn't, that my manager was in the back room. He then pulled out a few crumpled up dollar bills, handed it to me, and then walked back out of the door without taking his coffee with him. What the freak? As soon as he left the building, I felt this intense atmosphere lift up from around me. I quickly rushed to the back and told my manager about the whole situation, to which he told me to put the man's money aside in case he comes back for it. The next night, everything was back to normal. The usual- Yo, tell me this doesn't look like, um, Steven Universe. Look like, a uh, Garnet or Sapphire. I don't know them characters. Well, customers sat in their respective seats, sipping their coffee. While I was keeping myself busy and mopping the floor, I couldn't help but think about the interaction I had last night. Oh, oh. That's when I happened to look out of our front window. Bro, what do you want? And I saw him. He was Your coffee is on the counter! Street light. He was just standing there, staring at me. I turned to see if my manager was behind the counter, and when I looked back, he was gone. Oh, this guy! At that point, I was starting to feel unnerved. My last night working there was the worst by far, and also the reason I quit. I had arrived to work and relieved the people working before me. That's when I received a call from my manager telling me that he had a family emergency and would be a few hours late. Oh, great. I was upset, but there wasn't much I could do, so I just said all right. After three uneventful hours of me cleaning the same racks over and over again to keep my mind off things, I glanced out of the window once more. Yep. You when know I who saw that me, is? my blood turned to ice. You know who it is? <laughs> oh my and god! On the other side of the window, he was grinning at me with a sinister smile that caused oh! my body to seize up. Right away, I pulled out my cell phone and called the police. While my phone was ringing, the man did something strange. Without peeling his what eyes the from the glass, he pulled out a cell phone from his pocket. What's I watched him carefully as he began to type something into the phone without even looking at it. Look at him! At that moment, my phone buzzed, notifying me of a text. The message said, Now you're alone. Oh! He... Oh... So that guy got to the boss, killed him, presumably, and took his phone, and then texted the guy off of the... Yo... This next one's called Bells, and it was sent in by Dylan Dimples. Uh, hey Dylan. Uh, first of all, you don't gotta pull out the AK, alright? Was you soldier? Soldier? Young Draco? No, put it down. Thanks for sending the story. Hopefully it's good. Alright? Oh. Somebody's gonna have to go by and start going through his things. Okay. The service is next week. I see. So you'll be coming, right? I don't know. I'm struggling here, Jim, with work. We have all nah. the orders and... I'm not trying to hear. He's just starting his new school. Get over here. Caitlin, he was dad's only brother. Yeah, and I didn't know him. Neither did you. Oh, okay. I can't. Yeah, I don't Sorry. know him. Yeah, I'm out. I ain't going to that. The whole thing is freaking me out, to be honest. I mean, why are they saying it has to be a closed casket? Did they ever say what happened? Are you near a church or something? Closed what? casket. No, I'm at my house. Jim, uh. are you there? You don't hear that? Hear what? Is this insidious with that? Hello? Jim. 
Kaylee, shut up. Hold up. Hello. Oh my this god. This is really strange. Jim, are you there? Hello. Yeah, I'm here. Hello. Hey, Lynn. Jim. Hello. Bro, this is getting loud. Are you there? Maybe you just having little episodes, all right? Your uncle just died. You ain't know. <laughs> oh um, are you serious? Bro. Get your back against the wall. Someone just threw in a sound grenade. Oh my gosh. I just farted. I am so... Guys, I am so sorry. <laughs> in a sound grenade. In a sound grenade. I literally just twerk farted. I did. I'm sorry, guys. Hold on. I... Oh my. I just... Wow. Uh... This, this is embarrassing. I, I cannot believe I just gyrated like that. Bro, you making a wrong decision. Get out of the house. You only got four senses now. You cannot hear. Deaf. Get out of there. Oh, goodness. What is that? Now it's a call about her her brother. Hey, it's Jim, but you just missed me. Leave me a message. You want some juice? Put the top back on. Sure. Sheesh. Hey. You think you at school? No. I'm thinking about the TikTok video I just made and how everybody's about to roast me. Haunting, but it's gonna be super fun. Remember I told you you have the nicest teacher in the whole school. And you're gonna make 100 new friends, right? Hunt is true. It is true. Aww, he's going to a new school and doesn't have friends. Man up! Sucker! I'm just, I'm just joking. It's a kid in the room. You can't. No, you can't do that. Do you hear that? Hear what? Are you? Oh no! You can't kill kids. It's part of movie rules. <laughs> And the last one for this week is called Missing Halloween. All right, longest save for last. This one's 10 minutes. And it was sent in by Mia X Vibes, Florida. I, we got to talk for a second because you sent me a video. 
I gotta tell you that I appreciate you. All the other samurai know what the deal is. Red C right down the middle. Move, move. A Mike and Neil film. Missing Halloween. Well, uh, I'm getting good vibes. Oh, it's super cute. This is definitely not gonna be scary. Aww. I want a trick or treat too. What just happened? Why is the mom like. <laughs> okay, I ain't gonna say nothing. Yay! We're trick or treating, guys! Bye, mom! Talk to you later! Last Halloween. We're out of groceries. Go ahead and play with your friends. We'll be back soon, mom and dad. Uh, did he get beat up and robbed for all of his candy? Dang. Yeah, look at his... Uh... Hey! How's it going? <laughs> My name's Tom. You want some candy? Alright, I'll shut up. Oh, she didn't get any candy? Dude, take this candy, alright? We'll both eat one. Yeah. Smile, girl. You found me. <laughs> Forget Dendis. I'm delicious. So this happened last Halloween. Now they're best buds. This Halloween. Bro, this kid is <laughs> freaking so anime. Oh. Watch where you're going, you idiot! And my camera died. Trick or treat! Hey kids! Here's some candy! Yo, I miss trick or treating so much. What just happened? What just happened? Why didn't she get any? <laughs> hey, hey guys. They, they having a party back there. Man, these houses suck. Two pieces. Man, why aren't they putting any in hers? There you go. What an awesome guy. <laughs> Let's be friends. You found me. Dude, is she like dead or something? That's what I'm already getting. Nobody can see her except for him or something. Why wouldn't anybody put candy in her bowl? Hey, Mom! Hey! Uh, what is that? I'll take that, thank you! Uh, dude, you're running around in the street. Imaginary friend! I knew it! 
I knew it. She's not there. What? I'm about to start crying. She's right there. How can you not see her? Beth, tell them you're there. Reacting. Uh, Beth, we're not supposed to cross the fence. Mom, to Beth. Okay, I guess I'm doing this. Traps. Are they hunting out here? Oh! Oh! Bro, be careful. It's gonna be like on Limbo. Ow, oh, he got caught. Your leg is done. scary that was that wasn't even scary though I want to cry like it was so beautiful but at the same time like she was dead yo that kid he's a he's freaking clairvoyant he had an imaginary friend but it's like he was connected via these ones were pretty decent this week but for next week i'm gonna need y'all to up the spook factor I, I ain't get scared but like once next week i want your scariest now with that being said Hopefully you all took the time to slice that like button by now. Me? I got some, uh... I got some business I need to attend to. If all doesn't go well, we might be in a different house next week. Bring it on, you pigs! Come on! Come on! Cause my name is Curry Kinchin.
You win. Perfect.